All right, family, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I want to say truly and honestly, thank you to all my subscribers and thank you to all of the people who support the channel and who have been messaging me, who've been taking part in the channel. You helps it grow. Even though we may have a difference of opinion, trust me, as we begin to start and move forward, we are going to build an amazing panel. We're going to talk about a lot of these things, guys, and we're going to have a fair and real discussion. Please make sure you Gmail me at ebonyrepublicans at Gmail. Also, check us out at Ebony Republicans uh, on Spotify. Please make sure you give us an opportunity to know what it is that you want to talk about and, what, and where you're going with your points that you're sending us. Be greatly appreciated. Now, guys... I want to make a point here because this Jerron Boots in this thing is getting, in my opinion, out of control to where you have people who are blindly in strong belief that Boots is getting an unfair shake. He's making money delusionally. He's the best. He's done everything he needed to do and no one can figure out how in the name of God he's not further along in his career. Now, this is what I mean by the landscape of boxing can change in a few seconds. So just the other day, we were talking about Boots being the IBF mandatory for Earl of Truth Spence Jr. Then we were talking about Stanionis, right? Next thing we know, Stanionis is going over there, which is a good fight, by the way, and a, a decent uh, upgrade for Boots. Okay, for his caliber. Turns out, uh, Virgil Ortiz finds a way to get that fight. Now, he's moving up. That's going to be a test for him. And he's going to make the money. And this people want to see that fight. They want to see it. And they know who he's fighting. Just pay attention. Now, Boots is supposedly secured a fight. No one knows the guy's name yet. And I'm listening to other content creators say the guy that Boots is fighting. I've listened to Blue Bloods and many other people, and I'm not sure if Boxing Eagle said it, but if I'm not mistaken, everybody is saying that this is not a step up for Boots. This is a step backwards. Now, I'm going to give you guys one last chance. If this happens again to Boots, I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the dud lever. His career is going to find itself and I'm not the only one saying this somewhere, someplace on a shelf, somewhere guys, you gotta learn to respect boxing Virgil Ortiz right now, if I'm a manager I would put my money on Virgil Ortiz I would hire Virgil Ortiz before I hire Boots and Virgil doesn't have to be the guy like Blair Cobbs running off at the mouth talking some mean crap because Virgil got the right people. Now, boxers who don't want to be the Adrian Brona or the Blair Cobbs, the Flair Blair, shout out to uh, Blair Cobbs. I like Blair Cobbs. Um, I don't like his complete boxing style, but I want to see him develop. He talks a good one, meaning he believes in himself, so I guess he can get it done. So, Blair to Flair, shout out to you. He went chasing after Earl Spence chasing after Crawford. The guy doesn't quit. He keeps his name out there. Guys who don't even know how he look know the name Blair Cobbs. Okay? Now, again, if you can't be a Blair Cobbs, if you can't be a Roly Romero who talks so much shit, okay, people never seen Roly either and they know something about him. Okay? Adrian Broner, another guy, can't fight as good, but he can sell. He can talk his way in and out of situations. When Crawford was saying that uh, Al Heyman is his boss and all this kind of stuff, those of us who know better, we like, okay, God, come on. See, y'all pulling that old bullshit. Guys, stop. Spence is, is a very quiet guy for the most part. He's not going to be out here selling wolf tickets or selling fights. He's not a Muhammad Ali type of guy in terms of him trying to sell a fight. Okay, so what do you do? You give that to the hands of Al Heyman and his people he got and the promoters, Showtime and all these other people. They're going to do it for you. All you got to do is tweet and get ready for the fight. That's what you should be doing. 
that's what artists, that's what rich folks, white folks, Jewish folks, Arab folks, people who got money, okay, rich African Americans, you don't do shit. You barely wipe your ass. You go and get somebody to handle everything. Your PR people, your lawyer people, your CPA people, a nanny. The only thing you really, really do is piss and shit and maybe put some food in your mouth, okay? That's what Bo- uh, Spencer's doing. I'm going to say Virgil Ortiz to me is going to be the next big thing in the 147 until the Devin Haney's and them pull up, okay? After this fight with Virgil Ortiz, when he beats Danny Onis, if any that he does that, it's going to catapult his name way over Boots. This next fight with Boots will lower him deeper into the abyss. People are going to say, wow, good fight. You did great. This guy, mm, when do you hope to get your next fight? Who do you hope to fight next? Same story he was saying before this fight. Well, we're looking for whoever. You know, we, we're sending messages to all these guys. We hope to get a Thurman. Or we hope to get a Spence or Crawford. You said that the last fight in a fight before that, in a fight before that. It ain't my fault. It's God. What we're trying to say is we don't care who fault it is, is what I'm trying to tell you. What we are trying to say at this present time is please switch your game up. Go after the guys who you can beat and and get the money right now and get you a decent payday, at least half a mil per fight, okay, or a quarter of a mil per fight, right, at least $50,000, right now, they say Boots make yearly $25,000, okay, that's what the Forbes list and everything else say, some guy gonna come on here to my, his first fight, he made $400,000, nigga, please, see, this is the type of step of stuff, it's just crazy, and if he did, I'm grateful, I don't want to see him not make that kind of money, and I'm not against Boots. It's y'all who are against Boots. You keep selling people wolf tickets and expect them not to respond. You keep talking about Spence. Spence is not talking about Boots, okay? Showtime is not talking about Boots, okay? The boxing elite is not talking about Boots. It is only when Bozy Ennis or him says Spence's name or we're looking for the top guys and then the fans start bringing this crap up other than that if left to our own no one will bring up boots name in the top brass because we know that that fight right now is not profitable for those guys it may be profitable for terrence crawford he doesn't have a lot of you know financial great things going on until at this point right now and that's remaining to be seen we don't know how that's going to play out and if that's factual and truthful but what we can tell you that is Boots Ennis is not even ready for Virgil Ortiz right now. Okay, guys, you're going to convince yourself that this guy has an arsenal unlike anything else. There's nobody's going to beat him right now in the entire sport of boxing, and that includes Spencer Crawford. You can sell those worth of tickets to yourself. Virgil Ortiz is no challenge for him. Okay, uh, Mayweather probably in his prime couldn't beat him at all, not even close. I'm not buying into your mentality. And I hope you don't find that offensive. It just doesn't tickle my fancy. I've not seen what you're seeing. I don't get what you're getting. And I'm not buying into it. I'm sorry. I do believe Boots is a great fighter. I believe he will make his way to the top of the, 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 the pile with the rest of the guys. But I am under no illusion that he's going to outsell Virgil Ortiz. He's going to outsell Javante Tank Davis, who's a young guy as well. He's not going to outsell Devin Haney, who's younger. And the future of boxing is actually in his hands and many, many others. Uh, uh, Harold Calderon is on his way up. And there are many, 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 many more guys who have a better following and a better name and probably is more lucrative for uh, Spence to fight. You understand? In terms of money, guys, I don't know about you, but a lot of guys who I talk to and I deal with about boxing, we care about the money side, just like the NFL players and like the NBA basketball players today. A lot of that stats and being loyal to a team and all that other kind of bullshit is out the door. Guys are... Uh, more or less thinking at this time about their payday. And I'm not mad at them. They're the ones fighting, not me. I'm just watching. I'm just enjoying so I can't knock their hustle.